children now you know that rational numbers lie on the number line there are infinitely many rational numbers lying between any two given integers so today we will learn how to represent the rational numbers on the number line or locate their position on it so first i am going to represent a simple number 1 upon 2 on the number line for that i will first draw a number line and using a scale i will mark equal intervals on this number line here i have taken 2 cm as the interval you can take 1 cm or half cm or any other fixed length as the interval we will put an arrow on either side of this number line because it is a line and line has no end point now depending on the number whether it is a positive or a negative number we will be marking the points on this number line as 1 upon 2 is a positive rational number we will only take the positive part of the number line so we will start by writing 0 as the first number now when you have to write the remaining integers on this number line you will be counting 2 because 2 is the denominator so we'll start counting from the next point after the 0 so we count to 1 2 and we reach here so we'll write 1 here then we again count 1 2 and wherever we reach we write 2 so here I've written uh, integers from 0 up to 4 you can write any number of integers depending on the length of the number line so now our number line is ready for representing any number which can have denominator 2 next comes how to find the position of on this number for that we are going to use the numerator first we use the denominator to count now we will use the numerator to count and just remember that counting will always start from next point after 0 so we will count 1 and you can see that 1 is here so this is the point which represents 1 upon 2 this number line can be used for representing any number which has denominator 2 so if I want to represent say 5 upon 2 on 8 numerator of this number is 5 count 5 instead of 1 so I will again start counting from next point after 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 you can see that I have reached here so this point represents 5 upon 2 uh, similarly if I want to represent 7 upon 2 I will have to count 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means this is the point which represents 7 upon 2 now if the denominator of the number is changed I will have to draw another number line for that I hope it is clear to you and please watch the video till end so that you can know uh, clearly how to represent different type of numbers on the number line so let us take a negative number now minus 3 upon 5 take care of one thing here that the number of divisions or intervals which we have taken here should always be greater than both numerator and the denominator so we have enough uh, divisions over here now as it is a negative number we will show only the negative part of the number line so we will take origin at this point that is the last division of our number line and we are going to show negative numbers to the left of this origin as the denominator is 5 now so we will count 5 every time to write the integer the integer which is just before 0 on the number line is minus 1 so we will start counting from the next point after 0 1 2 3 4 5 and we'll write minus 1 here same way we will again count 1 2 3 4 5 and we'll write the next integer that is minus 2 so now our number line is ready to represent any number containing denominator 5 next to find the position of minus 3 over 5 we have to count 3 and again we'll start counting from next point after the origin so when we count 1 2 3 we reach here and this is the point which represents minus 3 upon 5 
as I can represent any number with denominator 5 on it which is negative so let's find where minus 7 upon 5 lies as uh, the numerator of this number is 7 I will count 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the position of minus 7 upon 5 we can even represent both negative and positive numbers on the number line but the only thing is that the denominator of each of those numbers should be same so if I want to represent minus 4 upon 3 and 5 upon 3 on the same number line I will have to take the origin in the middle next I'm going to count 3 so 1 2 3 1 here and same way on the other side 1 2 3 minus 1 next we are going to find out the position of 5 upon 3 so I will start counting after 0 towards the positive side 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the position of 5 upon 3 to find the position of minus 4 upon 3 I will go towards the negative direction so starting from the first point after the origin counting 4 we get 1 2 3 4 so this is the position of minus 4 upon 3 so now you can visualize that there are infinitely many rational numbers on the number line and we can easily locate the position of using this method so hope you enjoyed learning this method and if you like my videos and if you want to have more of uh, such informative videos then please like and subscribe you can also comment in the comment section if you want any video related to any particular topic